months to see that and you mentioned that deadline here then that tight timeline that the state is working on it is really tight because ultimately the courts are going to end up deciding how to move forward on this issue and they don't have a lot of time some ballots are expected to be mailed overseas to voters in just a matter of days and those early ballots in less than a month and the core of the problem is election officials rely on the motor vehicle department to verify if a registered voters have provided proof of citizenship since 1996 state law has required proof of citizenship or legal presence in the country to get a driver's license then in 2004 a law passed that required proof of citizenship to take part in an arizona election and because of a near 20 year old computer glitch if you got your license before for 1996 and then got a duplicate in 19 or in 2004 or later state election officials were not being flagged about that extra requirement meaning those voters may not have provided the required documentation to register secretary of state adrian fontes said the computer problem has been fixed and was adamant that a vast majority of these voters are longtime legal citizens we have no reason to believe that there are any significant numbers of individuals remaining on this list who are not eligible to vote in Arizona. We cannot confirm that at this moment, but we don't have any reason to believe that. Arizona is the only state that requires proof of citizenship to cast a ballot in local races. Arizonans without documentation can still vote in federal elections as long as they swear under penalty of perjury that they are legal citizens. The county recorder Stephen Richer has filed a lawsuit to allow all of these 100,000 voters to cast ballots in federal races only. However, Fontes is asking that these voters be allowed to cast a full ballot that includes state and local elections. If you are on this list, rest assured you will be contacted soon by elections officials. That being said, we are not going to start contacting voters willy nilly until we have final resolution from the court. At this moment, we will proceed status quo. And again, the Secretary of State is emphasizing that most of these voters are longtime citizens who have likely voted for years. The office provided us with a breakdown of those voters by party. More than 36,000 are Republicans, 28,000 independents, and about 27,000 Democrats and a few thousand other party members are affected by this registration problem. Okay, we're down to the wire. The Secretary of State filed for a petition uh, for special action. How long is it going to take for the judge to decide? They are hopeful that it could happen in a matter of days. Again, those overseas ballots need to be mailed out here very soon. Right. And the courts very much understand the deadline here of what's happening, the timeline that they are working on. So, uh, you know, they're hopeful to get an answer by maybe the end of the week. I just want to say the headline at the bottom of the screen there is kind of alarming. If people are watching us on mute or maybe just tuning in right now, nearly 100,000 people may not be able to vote. What do you think is the main yeah. takeaway to recap? I think right now it's coming going to come down to whether, whether you're going to be able to cast a full ballot with all the races or just a federal a ballot at this point. Because, again, Arizona does require a higher burden to cast a ballot in these Arizona state elections here. Um, however, federal elections not governed by state law here uh, only require you to swear under penalty of perjury that you are a citizen and that you can vote a federal race only, meaning it's not going to you can vote for the president, uh, the presidential race, the federal race and the congressional races. But you wouldn't be allowed to vote in say state, uh, the house, the state or, house or the corporation mm -hmm. commission or some of those other or, or the county races down ballot and this is nothing new yeah. nothing nefarious this dates back decades it has a 20 year old glitch <laughs> taking okay. care of it the and last minute thanks dennis we'll follow up